Welcome to this new flight simulator update movie. You might think, hey, this is Copilot, this is the AI tool, right? We want to fly, we want to be a pilot, or maybe we want to use the autopilot, but not the copilot, right? Because that's not the seat where we want to be in. Well, in this case, we're gonna use Copilot for something pretty interesting. We're gonna try to figure out when sim update number 18 will be released. We know it's tomorrow, but we don't have, I would say, any specific time when it will be available, right? So that's something which I would say we need to figure out. And to do that, we're going to use Copilot, uh, I would say by uh, using sources such as the uh, flightsimulator.com website, as well as the forums of flightsimulator.com, and also looking at the historical data. So I prepared a prompt already. So we're going to use the forums of flightsimulator.com, and we're going to use the flightsimulator.com website itself. We're going to figure out the expected date and time for world update number 18 right and then we're gonna ask it to use historical data because hey we don't know the exact time when it will be released but maybe there's some pattern in the i would say world update release times uh found on these sites so let's suppress uh enter right and let's figure out if it come comes up with something useful so here it goes so here it says it confirms that flight simulator number 18 will be uh, released on the 22nd of august hey it's together with gamescom right that's what we knew and gamescom again is in germany so makes sense that they select that region so based on the historical data they say that the uh typically the release day uh, time is 10 a.m pacific time which then will be 7 p.m uh, central european time and that's based on the time of my location right you correct that's where i live so that's pretty nice Ah, then it says, hey, are you excited about these new features? Of course we are, but hey, can you help us figure out what's uh, more about this, right? So what are the key features of world update number 18? So let's do that. And then it will give us a small overview of what is included, right? Again, focusing on the dark region, Germany, Austria, and Switzerland, enhanced terrain resolution. Uh, that's being uh, part of it, as well as photogrammetry cities. You can see Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. New handcrafted uh, aircrafts or airports, Munich, Salzburg, and Bern. And if we scroll back a bit, we can also see, okay, hey, which cities are being updated. And you can see that pulls it from multiple data sources. 116 points of interest are there. And as you can see in this text while hovering over it, uh, world update number 19 is also announced. And that will take place in Brazil. So we're going uh, back to the other side of the ocean. Updated aerial imagery is also included and that provides uh, a preview of the visuals that will be standard in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. And that was pretty interesting because that's also what York mentioned in the uh, developer uh, webcast that I would say this is a really next level and this is the level you can expect from my, uh, in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, which also will be released, I would say, pretty soon, right? It comes closer and closer. 19th of November, that's the case, or that's the date and time, or date when it will be released. We don't have a time for that one yet. So, if you want to know, okay, hey, what was the history of the world update, right? We can also look at that. What are uh, the previous uh, world updates uh, released? Uh, create a table showing the uh, title date time and version right so normally the version number is not updated if you install a world update so likely that will also need not be the case with world update number uh, 18 uh so but this is just for take completeness right so we can see that we started with japan after that we went to the usa then we went to uk and ireland then we went to france and benelux then to the nordics then to the dark region right germany austria switzerland which was world update number six, which will be touched again now. Then Austria, Australia, Iberia, Italy, Malta, then the US, right? So we went back to the US and updated that part. Canada, New Zealand, Oceania, Central Europe, Eastern Europe, then Antarctica, South America, and then again also back to UK and Ireland. Uh, so you can see that multiple, I'd say, parts of the world did already receive an update, uh, including, I would say, uh, the UK and Ireland. 
which is twice in the list. Uh, USA was already touched uh, twice. Uh, so that's pretty interesting to know. So based on this, right, you can see that it provides some pretty, I would say, neat information. Uh, but it was also able to figure out, hey, there are, might be some other updates which will be released uh, for Flight Simulator. As we can see, the version jumps right from 1.9 up to uh, 1.35, uh, which was, I would say, on the uh, 23rd of July. I think this version might have been updated because there was, I would say, an update. But let's also, also ask that, right? Uh, what is the latest uh, version number? or MSFS 2020 and it will give us an overview of that hopefully so let's see uh, if it comes with that it says okay the latest version is 135.21.0 and there it says it was released as, as part of sim update number 14 <laughs> that's not entirely correct right so you can see that sometimes the answers need to be validated if that's the case because in this case it doesn't make any sense because it's not correct because sim update number 15 was the latest. Uh, and sim update, update number 15. Not Thompson sure what that version was. Uh, but we could also ask it. Uh, but hey, that's nice. So you can see here that although it's AI and although it's great technology, you always need to validate it. Which brings us back to the original question, right? Is this one correct? 22nd of August, we know it's 100% correct. 10 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, slash 7 p.m. Uh, Central European Summertime. I think it depends. Sometimes we see that they are releasing a little bit earlier, right? So 5.30 Central European Summertime. But we need to wait tomorrow. Uh, likely they will confirm somewhere on a forum, likely the Flight Simulator forum, when the ETA is for uh, Flight Simulator World Update number 18 already. 18 World Updates, which is good. So we're at the end of this video where we try to guess, okay, when will be uh, the ETA for world update number 18? Date we know again. Time depends. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, then consider pressing the like button. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in receiving notifications about new videos and posting. And with that, again, we're at the end. I wish you a lot of fun with flying tomorrow in Germany as soon as this next world update is there. And I want to thank you for watching this video. Again, happy flying and see you next time.